Hi guys, welcome. Thank you so much for the love and support, for encouraging me when I'm going through the stress of brooding and everything. I really appreciate your support. And I know many of you have asked me questions about the structure size, how much it costs to build a structure. Guess what? Today is the day I answer your questions. So stay tuned. So first off guys, I hired somebody to lead this whole project, okay? And he said he has two packages. One is for 1,500 capacity, and the other one is 3,000 capacity. And we decided to go with a 3,000 capacity structure. He said his 1,500 capacity measures 100 feet by 25 feet, okay? That's what he told me. So if I'm going with 3,000 capacity, it should have been what 200 by 50 right yes guys but that's not what i got okay i paid for 3000 capacity but he built me a structure for 1500 capacity that is the reason why i don't share my dimensions because i have serious overcrowding problems and if you've been following from the beginning i paid for this guy to come on my farm land for consultation and he did a wind direction test and all that guys the wind direction is totally off completely off hence i had so much issue with brooding with overheating so guys <laughs> i love ghana but not everyone that says is a professional is a professional okay so be very wary when you hire people i learned the hard way like like maybe it's my fault, but I'm coming from a country when somebody says they are good at this, they are good at it. And then at the end of the day, when they're done with whatever they're doing, you can tell. But that's not the case in Ghana. Everybody claims to be a professional and they do crappy job. And at the end of the day, you end up spending triple the amount of what you should have. But as I always say, we live and learn. So you know what? I have to cut my losses and move on okay so let's get into the nitty-gritty of how much it cost so yeah and moreover the 100 by 25 for the 1500 quote he gave me it's still wrong it can only hold 1400 um, birds so even if he had um, built for 1500 using that measurement he would have been off okay so can you imagine paying for like a 3000 capacity and buying 3,000 birds and shoving them all in like uh, um, technically a 1,400 capacity pen. Yeah, so those of you that ask me those questions and I don't share with you, it's not because I'm being mean or I don't want to share information. I'm saving you headache, serious headache and money, okay? So i rather not you know, have you repeat the same mistake I did trusting somebody. So when I don't share that, not because I'm mean, but because the information I have is wrong and I don't want to share. I don't feel comfortable sharing wrong information, okay? So thank you for understanding. And now really, <laughs> let's like, guys, this thing caused me so much. It caused us so much. I, I had kept record, but I hadn't like um tallied it up. And now it's like, whoa, like that's... A huge chunk of money <laughs> anyways <laughs> so uh, for labor charges for the supposed 3,000 capacity structure it came to 25,000 Ghana cities 750 cities labor charges I kid you not those are labor charges and amongst that the guy's um, fee was like 3,000 Ghana cities for his fee. And then every time he visits, he charged 200 Ghana cities for gas. And he said he would come times 10. Did he really come 10 times? No, he didn't. So yeah, that's just labor charges. And that's technically from foundation to uh, roofing and filling cost. 
And it wouldn't be bad if I actually got the 3000 capacity and not 1500 capacity, okay? So that's where my issue is. And then we had to buy some supplies, like the pen supply, like the beakers, drinkers, um, feeders, thermo uh, thermometers, and all kind of those kind of things. It came to um, 4,470 Ghana cities for um, supplies. And then we had one ton worth of feed made that was crappy. And that one ton cost me 7,850 Ghana city for one ton. And then for drugs, the first initial drugs was like 2,064 Ghana cities. And then our heating source was a generator and that generator cost 11,000 Ghana cities. And that generator did work for a day. And as I'm recording this video right now, in 2022, I haven't gotten a refund for my 11,000 Ghana cities I spent on the generator. The guy is tossing us around. And we literally had to get a police officer involved to get 5,000 back. And I'm still chasing him for the balance of the 6,000 Ghana cities. That's kind of for you. The day old checks from Belgium cost us 28,500 Ghana cities. And I had to pay for delivery from Accra to Pedro Junction. Yeah. Electrical materials cost us 2,131. And electrical um, labor cost us 800 Ghana cities. Biodigester cost us 1,800 and the materials cost us 208 Ghana cities. Plumbing material cost me 408. And remember, this was like bare land. There was nothing there. So I also had to build a tower to hold um, the water. And the tower supplies cost 1,885. And the tower labor was at 1,500. I also, we had to get a gutter done. Uh, the gutter was also another problem. I had two people do it, so it wasn't good. And that cost us in total 2300 And then because the other generator wasn't working, I had to buy another generator, which cost me um, another 1500 okay? In total, we spent 10500 on blocks. At that time, 6-inch was 4 Ghana cities. 5-inch was between... 350 and 750 and then for stand stone cements it came to 18,750 Ghana and of course for boards such as wawa board roofing sheet it came to 19,082 for example one pack of roofing sheet at the time was 1,300 we bought 10 which is 13,000 Ghana cities and of course, you need wire mesh. At the time, a bundle was 1,500. You need doors and hinges. We spent like 1,605. You need um, louvers, um, all kind of things. Like a lot goes into building uh, a, a pen and then uh, a living quarter for the um, employees. You know, just for um, materials and labor alone for the employee um, quarters, it's like 5217 because I tiled it, I I did the ceiling, I made it nice, right? So it came with a cost. So so for the total for um, um, building the 1,400 capacity pen with the employee living quarters, complete with roofing and the gutter, and we had a tower for our ball hole and everything uh, material alone came to 84,875 Ghana cities so with labor and transportation and tip yes chop money tip <laughs> that's a big part of building in Ghana you're paying them but they still want extra so I know it was well over a hundred thousand Ghana cities for this first phase and yes it's expensive but i know that's because we're starting from scratch and apart from the mistake um the next one will not cost that much because i'm not going to need a ball hole i'm not going to need a new tower i'm not going to need it like 
I basically need my materials and um, pay labor costs and build a structure, do my gutter, bring me my DO check, okay? So I, I have comfort in that. I'm going to save on the next one. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, I tried my best. Leave them in the comment section below. And I, I can't possibly remember everything. But this is an idea of how much it cost to build 100 feet by 25 feet capacity pen for our um, chicken. But basically, it's we built a whole farm because there was nothing there. It was just like bushes so everything from scratch clearing making a road everything okay so thank you so much for watching and don't be discouraged okay it is doable you can do it just take it one day at a time and just don't trust the wrong people though okay so thank you comment like and subscribe if you haven't done so already if you have any specific question that i didn't address write them below and i'll do my best to give you an answer, okay? Thank you, and as always, smile.